Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for factory reset protection. Now here with us today, we have a Samsung Galaxy S24 FE, and this is a device that does indeed have the Google account lock enabled, because as we can see here, as we're going through the initial setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the phone was factory reset, and to continue, we have to either verify the previous security screen pin lock that was used, or if we tap on use my Google account instead, it'll pull up the secondary option that tells us that we can also sign in with the Google account that was previously used on the device. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or because they purchased the device from a dishonest seller who turned out to be a scammer. So then after the purchase, the buyer discovered the lock and obviously they weren't going to have the previous user's login information, and in those cases the seller has usually long since disappeared since again it is an online scam that happens a lot in the buying and selling of used mobile devices these days. But we're making this video here to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this model without having to have the previous user's login information. The procedure that we do is something that's done directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast and stable internet connection. And we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet in order to do the exact same procedure that we just did here with this one. So actually before starting the video, we had already done 99% of the work necessary to remove the lock. We just left it in place right before the last step so that you could all see that it was indeed locked so that you know we're not trying to scam anyone here and that we can actually get the lock removed. So just to keep the video as short as possible, we just wanted to uh, leave as few steps as possible before the end. So now that those last steps have been done and the device has been restarted, we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the initial setup steps here without running into that Google lock. So first here we have to agree to the terms and conditions. And then after Wi-Fi, we're going to hit next. And then wait while it does this step here. We are not going to copy apps or data. And now you'll notice here on the Google page, the message has actually changed. So instead of specifically requiring the previous account that was used, it's giving us the option to sign into any account or even create a new one if we want. We don't need an account. We're just going to skip through everything here as fast as possible so that we can verify that we can get to the home screen. So there we go. We're all set. We are all the way through all the initial setup steps. We're now at the home screen. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features, and it is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, we're gonna pop into the settings to show you exactly what we're working with. So when we go down to about phone, we can indeed see that we have an S24 FE, and then the model number here, if my focus will cooperate, the SMS721U. So that's the model number of basically all of the US carrier versions of the S24 FE. So if you have one of these models with the FRP lock on it and need help getting it removed, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be found right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of our details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices and I'm sure you'll find some th something there that could come in handy someday. 
hitting that subscribe button will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.